Hello everyone. I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of renewable energy sources. Uh, in this session, I'm going to discuss most important questions uh, which will which can be expected for the university examination, especially from uh, module one. So let me share the screen. Uh, let's get the session started. So in the module one, uh, as you can observe, most of the topics are basically the fundamental topics only. Entire module one is segmented into two. First one is introduction. Another one is energy from sun. In the introduction, you will be learning about what are the causes of energy, then factors affecting renewable energy sources, Indian and world energy scenario. If I talk about the second portion, you will be learning some technical terms related to sun because sun is a primary source of energy. Uh, you'll be learning about where the various type of angles. So we'll discuss uh, some important questions based on that. I have collected three to four question papers. From that, I have sorted the most important questions which can be expected in the forthcoming examination. The first question you can read, this question I have taken from uh, in the year of 2022, VTU 2018 scheme. The first one is, explain the causes of energy scarcity. That was the first question. Now, how will you answer this? Or what is the weightage? Weightage is six marks. And at least you have to write minimum of one page by including all the points. Uh, let me show you what, what, what are the things you are going to write in the examination. Okay. For this kind of question, you can write like, what are the causes of energy scarcity? Uh, kindly include minimum of uh, five to seven points. Okay, because weightage is six marks, you can follow these points like increasing uh, population. You can explain uh, what it, uh, why uh, the increasing population cause energy scarcity. Okay, so you can mention about the uh, unbalancing of supply and demand. Another one is actually uh, increasing energy usage and consumption. Then unequal distribution of energy sources all over the world. It is true because some area you can see uh, the coal deposition is very high in uh, Northeast. But if I talk about the down south, there is no very less amount of coal deposition. Then lacks of technical knowledge. Most of the people are not aware about how to extract energy from renewable resources. Then wastage of energy is very high. For example, wastage of electricity. That is one of the another example. Then natural disaster and, and major accident. Then infrastructure deterioration, especially during war, uh, then earthquake, definitely the then construction. So all the things you can mention about the causes of uh, energy. Uh, scarcity, fine. Uh, you may have to go through these points, uh, increasing pollution, uh, then increasing energy usage or consumption, uneven distribution of uh, energy sources, lacks of technical uh, know-how or practical skills, how to extract energy, infrastructure deterioration, wastage of energy, the natural calamity and disasters, those points you can explain very clearly. I definitely will be getting six marks. Let's move on to another question. Uh, in the second question, you can see, find solar elevation angle for two hours after local solar noon for 1st June 2012 for a city which is located at 26.75 uh, degree latitude. Here, I'm not solving this. If you require, I want to solve means I'll make a separate video. I'll show you the important tips. So I prepared a PPT on that. So let me share the screen once. So please try to solve this problem by using the equation. You need to know what is our angle, uh, then uh, declination angle, formula for computing declination angle, okay, latitude angle. So kindly go through this terminology and uh, try to make out. You can put the answer in the comment box. Still you are not getting, I'll make a separate video on that before the examination. So uh, this terminology, you can go through that. Definitely you can uh, make out. So kindly note on this uh, formula. Uh, definitely be, uh, it will fetch you to get the answer very fastly. Uh, now question number uh, 1c you can see uh, with the reference to the solar radiation geometry define the following declination angle, latitude angle, solar altitude angle, uh, azimuth angle. I just shown you right now. Hope you are remembering. Uh, see, let me share the screen. See, these are the different angles. So I request you everybody uh, to pause this video once. There are different parameters. See, first I explain what is latitude and longitude. Later, our angle, how to calculate our angle. What is the significance? With the help of an example, you can explain. That will be better. Then equation of time, declination angle, how to compute a declination angle using this formula. 
then latitude angle, solar altitude angle, azimuth angle. So at least you try to uh, remember those terminology. One or another way you can expect the same question in the university examination. I'm damn sure about that because uh, either in the form of problem or in the form of theory, you will be getting the particular uh, topic. So uh, don't leave this topic. I request everybody. This is an easy topic only. So you can go through this. The PPT I made a simple fashion. Uh, definitely you can uh, find out uh, the exact uh, core uh, part of this particular topic from this PPT. And also it's a simplified manner I have explained. You go through that. Fine. Yeah, you can post this video and uh, please make a note of this. Hope you can manage it. Moving further. Uh, now you can check the another part of question. This is first question or second question. Options will be available. I, you, need, you need to find out which question is more, which pattern is more comfortable for you. If you are good in problems, try to go for the first part. But if you are not uh, confident about solving the problem and getting the answer, definitely no issues. We have other options. Question number two, one or two is the option. Explain the classification of energy sources. That is a simple question you might have learned during your uh, high schools or uh, plus two or PU. Fine. Uh, first of all, I request you to make a flow chart. It is a, a simple tip that uh, if you make a flow chart, definitely uh, the evaluator uh, give a uh, plus point for you because uh, you are explaining the form of flow charts. And uh, once you draw the flow chart, you can explain individually what is the conventional sources, uh, what is the meaning of uh, uh, non-conventional sources, what is the difference between conventional and non-conventional sources. Give some example as well. Don't forget to give the examples. Again, you have to mention about the subclassification of conventional sources such as commercial form of energy sources and the non-commercial form of energy sources. So like this, if you can explain, no, that will be great. Uh, so you can, you'll be getting a full credit for full, full marks for this particular question. All right. But now you can move on to question number 2B. Discuss about Indian renewable energy availability. That means Indian renewable energy scenario. You have to explain. So uh, get the latest information. Even I have collected the latest information and I put up in the PPT. So I will be showing you the particular screen. Please wait. Uh, first of all, I request you to write what is the overall installed capacity in India. Uh, as on 31st December 2022, it was 410.3 gigawatts. Right now, if you have any updation, kindly uh, check it out. Then uh, you have to mention about the among uh, overall installed capacity, what is the contribution of renewable energy sources? Okay, it was around 42.5%. Uh, that means 174.53 gigawatts as per the statistics. Also, you have to mention about the growth you have to mention. What is the growth? Right now, you can check it up 2023. Latest one, you can find out. This is okay for your exam point of view. Uh, later, you can mention about uh, each contribution of renewable energy sources, solar, wind. From this, you have to mention that solar is dominating because it is having um, more advantage and uh, feasibility compared to other form of energy in the form of modularity, cost effective, payback period, everything you have to mention. Uh, then, okay, these are the things more than sufficient for uh, writing uh, the Indian energy scenario. Hope you can manage it effectively. If you have some other statistical data, kindly add along with this. So, question number 2C. With a neat diagram, explain the layers of sun. This is also a very important question and it's quite simple as well. Uh, so, let me show you the screen. Soon after you receive the question, I request you to draw this diagram. You have to mention which is the outer layer, corona. Then you have to mention about the convention zone, radiation zone. Then you have to mention the very important part that is called the core. And in between, you have to mention different type of layers like the photosphere and the chromosphere. If you can draw this diagram, okay, uh, use the geometrical tool and you can draw it very neatly. Fine. Yes, you have to mark. You have to mark accordingly. Use SB pencil whenever you are drawing. Uh, then you have to mention about the core, which is the where is the, explain the significance of core, uh, temperature you have to mention, you have, can mention about the density, all right, uh, and you have to mention which is the hottest layer, uh, later uh, the fusion, the nuclear fusion will be taken place inside core, you have to mention about the radi radiative zone with the, the following um, technical specification. Uh, then you have to talk about the convection, what is convection, convection zone, and you have to mention about what are the major elements, contribution of major ions like the carbon ion, oxygen, nitrogen, and calcium are etc. available in the convection zone. Then photosphere you have to mention, okay, what is the total thickness of uh, photosphere. Then uh, mention the temperature as well because it's also a very important parameter. Uh, later chromosphere you have to mention, okay. 
uh, if you can if you can like uh, highlight a particular point like a dim red ring is found in chromosphere uh, also you have to mention about corona it is outermost layer corona and you have to mention the temperature as well because as the uh, from the core part to corona we can see that there is a drastic uh, decrease in the temperature fine all right so these are the points you need to add in this particular question fine so I just focused only a few questions in the last time, that is 2022, um, uh, 2022 in, the, uh, in the year of 2022. Uh, so re remaining I'll be discussing in the coming video, I'll be preparing another videos of important questions from module one, module two, module three, etc. So uh, stay tuned, I'll be updating soon. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries, please put up in the comment box. Happy learning, thank you.